12 superb affordable cold weather scents. Hello friends, I'm George, the nice smelling gentleman. Welcome back to the channel guys, I hope that all of you are doing well. It's time for your daily dose of some fragrance content and for today I've prepared a list of 12 superb affordable cold weather scents. I'm going to start with the ones that are a little bit more challenging and actually I'm going to start with the ones that's the most challenging and it's featured in today's video. It comes from the brand of Latafa, it's part of the Mahir line and it's called simply Mahir Black Edition. And this is a very very interesting and quite a, a unique scent. Quite challenging as I said, the most challenging fragrance included in today's video. It's very smoky, it's very woody, it's also quite spicy, feels a little bit green. There's a Gayakut note in here, also there's a strong leather note, uh, feels a bit balsamic and floral at the same time. As I said, quite a complex scent that uh, I know a lot of people actually won't find very attractive. But to be honest, I've been really digging uh, the scent of uh, Mahir Legacy, Ma Mahir Black Edition, excuse me. It's a, a very unique fragrance with a very strong performance, a very loud projection as well, and all that for a very affordable price. So if you're not afraid of smoky, woody, leathery fragrances that are challenging, then definitely check out Mahir Black Edition. The next fragrance that I've included in today's video can also come across quite challenging for some people. It comes from the brand of a Fragrance World and French Avenue, and it's called Spectre Raid. And this fragrance is heavily inspired by Killian's Black Phantom. And I know for a fact that a lot of people find uh, the original from Killian to be quite challenging and also Spectre Raid to be quite challenging. It's not as challenging as Mahir Black Edition, but definitely can come across as, uh, you know, a too dark of a scent for some people. It's a very boozy, very spicy, very woody fragrance that has a strong coffee note. Also, I personally pick up uh, quite a bit of sweetness from uh, something like a dark chocolate uh, a note in this one. A very very interesting scent all around that will get you quite close to Black Phantom from Killian. Offers a very good performance especially when it comes to projection. The total longevity is not like uh, out of this world. I get about eight hours maybe slightly over eight hours but where this shines especially after some maceration is the projection. For two even up to three hours this will project very very loudly. It comes very uniquely packaged. The bottle design is quite unique and all around this is a very interesting scent for those of you who are not afraid to uh, you know to wear woody uh, boozy fragrances with some sweetness in them and a coffee note so my second suggestion from Fra fragrance world and french avenue spectre rate the next one again come can come across as a bit challenging for some people but i personally absolutely love it it's one of my list latest discoveries from the brand of french avenue and it's called asia oud and this fragrance is heavily inspired by oud maracuya from mason crivelli and I really, really like the way that, uh, you know, Asia Oud smells. It's a fragrance that relies on a very strong leather note, very, very strong leather note, especially on the dry down. You get some uh, fruity sweetness in this one. You get uh, a bit of uh, rose as well. You get some agar oud, actually quite a strong agar oud note. All around smells quite similar to the original fragrance and it has a very interesting scent profile that feels somewhat similar to Louis Vuitton's Ombre Nomad as well. The original scents also feel you know, feel uh, close to, somewhat close to each other. And Azure Oud has been a really uh, great discovery for me personally. Very, very strong uh, performing fragrance. I get easily over 10 hours of performance out of it with very loud projection for the first uh, three hours, maybe even over three hours if you overspray this one. And the quality is top notch as well. So this has been a great discovery from the brand of uh, French Avenue, Azure Oud. Another fragrance from the brand of uh, French Avenue and uh, Fragrance World that uh, can be a little bit challenging for some people but now we're moving a little bit into the territory of more wearable fragrances is called Mirage Absolute and this fragrance is a very high quality clone or inspiration of Parfum de Marley's Leighton Exclusive carrying a very similar scent profile to the OG Leighton but also adding a bit of darkness just like the Exclusive Flanker does with the original uh, Leighton now, this doesn't feel like a straight up clone. It, it's not as dark as Leighton Exclusive. Uh, maybe this feels like uh, something in between Leighton and Leighton Exclusive, but this is definitely a little bit darker than the OG Leighton. You know, you still have some of that uh, vanillic and fruity sweetness, some of the spices of the original Leighton, some of the greenness, but in here, this is a little bit darker.
darker, a little bit more serious, you get a, a little bit of an agar oud note or a guy oud note, something like that, that just darkens the whole scent profile a little bit. The quality is very good, performance is also very good, comes really luxuriously packaged and uh, all around this is a very very good alternative to Layton exclusive. And the last fragrance that is going to be part of this, uh, you know, first section of the video where I'm showing you a little bit more of a challenging sense comes from the brand of uh, Arabiat Prestige and it's called Lutfach the Seventh Heaven. One of my recent discoveries from the brand of Arabiat Prestige. This one is apparently very heavily inspired by Imperial uh, Valley from Giza. Now I've never tried the original scent but you know uh, I've pretty much come to know the scent profile of the original at this point. This is a very interesting combination of a strong leather note with some agar oud with quite a bit of uh, fruity sweetness, you get some spiciness in here, a bit of a green touch as well, a very unique scent that feels very Middle Eastern and definitely is not something that you smell every day. Uh, Lutfak the Seventh Heaven seems to be a little bit more on the sweeter side compared to some other clones of uh, Imperial Valley that I have, uh, making it a little bit more wearable for most people out there. But still, that scent profile is a, can be a little bit uh, challenging and divisive. So far, from my testing performance, has been a really nice. Also, this offers very, very high quality, just like any other scent from the brand of Arabiat Prestige. And I think this is a very interesting scent from that very same brand. And so we are done with the more challenging scent. Now let's move to something uh, a little bit easier to wear, you know, two scents that are a little bit uh, easier to wear, something a little bit more standard. My next suggestion comes from the brand of Orientica, it's called Royal Blue. Now for those who don't know, Orientica is a sister brand to uh, Al Haramein and it offers a very very high quality and Royal Blue makes no exception. This is a superbly good clone of Parfum de Marlis Leighton, the OG Leighton, the more easier, you know, the easier to wear Leighton out of the two. And this smells uh, really really nice, a very very good job uh, from Orientica. Very similar to the original fragments, um, maybe feels slightly sweeter compared to Leighton itself. Uh, but other than that offers superb quality, very strong performance. I really dig the bottle design to be honest and uh, this has been a really a great find for me and this is one of the very best clones of Leighton that you can currently get. Uh, probably one of the top three or top four clones of Leighton on the markets currently in my opinion. The next one again comes from the brand of Arabiat Prestige. It's part of the Aris line and it's called Aris Intense. And this is yet another clone of Killian's Angel Share. And it's yet another superb clone of Killian's Angel Share. It's boozy, it's spicy, it's sweet, just like the original scent is. Lacks just a little bit of the strength of the uh, boozy note, the cognac note of the original fragrance in the opening, but other than that, feels very, very similar to uh, you know Angel Share. It's as likable as Angel Share itself. Offers absolutely fantastic quality. Again, pretty much everything that I've tried out of the brand of Arabiat Prestige is pretty much uh, you know at designer level quality in my opinion. Has pressurized sprayer, comes really nicely packaged, really luxuriously packaged. Offers great uh, performance and projection, pretty much on par with the original scent and all that for a very affordable price. So my next suggestion from the brand of Arabiat Prestige Aris Intense. And my next suggestion will feel pretty similar to Aris Intense but at the same time feels quite different in its own way. It comes from the brand of Paris Corner and it's called uh, Moch uh, Cognac Blaze, part of the Moch line. Now this again can be perceived as a Angel Share clone but this has a very very heavy twist. And the twist in here is the fact that Paris Corner have toned down a little bit of the, uh, you know, of the booziness of the original fragrance and they've added quite a strong coffee note which really makes the whole scent profile similar but this, at the same time quite different compared to Angel Share. Quality here is again absolutely fantastic, really really nice quality from Paris Corner. Quite a unique uh, scent profile, quite a unique take on the Angel Share, the whole Angel Share DNA. Feels somewhat similar to uh, Latafa Hamra Hawa but at the same time different to that one as well because this has a stronger coffee note than Hawa. Offers again very good quality, offers a very very good performance, uh, over 9 hours of performance with nice projection for the first uh, two, two and a half hours. Again comes really nicely packaged and uh, all that for a very very competitive price. Another suggestion from the brand of Paris Corner, 
is called Rifa Cat. This one is a clone of YSL Baby Cat. And it's another very, very sweet fragrance. In fact, this is uh, almost sticky sweet, at least, of the atomizer. Just like the original scent from YSL, this relies on a very, very strong uh, vanilla note. That's basically, uh, you know, the main note that you get in this fragrance. You get a bit of suede leather, you get some spiciness, you get some smokiness. In fact, quite a strong uh, incense note with this one as well. But for me, the, you know, the main players here are the incense note, the suede leather note and the strong uh, vanilla note. But the vanilla note is done in an interesting way. It feels like a very dark vanilla scent. It's not bright, it's not... Uh, you know, uh, let's call it very feminine. This is like a perfectly unisex vanilla based fragrance. Smells very nice. Again, quality here is very good. It's a very strong fragrance, especially after some maceration. This is pretty beastly when it comes to performance, both longevity and projection. And again, all that for a very competitive price. My next suggestion comes from the brand of Latafa and it's one of their newer releases and one of the currently the most hyped up fragrances from Latafa. And it's called Latafa the Kingdom. This one is a clone of Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Mans Elixir. And it's done quite nicely actually. Has a bit of a small twist. This feels uh, like a slightly less sweet, slightly more aromatic take on the Le Mans Elixir scent. But smells really, really nice and quite close the, uh, to the original fragrance. To my nose, this has a bit of a ramped up lavender note and the sweetness here is a little bit ramped down compared to the original. Also, the tobacco note here is not as strong as you get with uh, Le Mo Elixir, but in the air smells very similar to Le Mo Elixir. Offers very, very good quality, offers pretty decent uh, performance. Not on par with the original, but still not a slouch. Around about the 8 hour mark uh, and it's a very you know, a very sexy scent that will get you a lot of compliments for sure. And I think this is one of the best releases from the brand of Latafa for 2024. And I just had to include this next fragrance. This is, uh, you know, one of those hyped up beasts, probably the most hyped up fragrance from the Middle East uh, for 2024. It comes again from the brand of French Avenue and it's called Liquid Broom. And this is a very interesting fragrance. This is a clone of Parfum de Marlis Altair. It's a very good clone of Altair. And this is a fragrance that initially I didn't like that much. When I first got it, I wasn't very impressed uh, because uh, it felt a bit harsh. Uh, it lacked a bit of the sweetness. All I could get was some vanilla with some uh, cinnamon. But, you know, after some maceration, this has uh, started to evolve more and more into a very beautiful creation. Very strong vanilla scent, very strong cinnamon scent, you get uh, some ambroxan in here, you get uh, quite a strong orange blossom note. It's a bit on the simplistic side, but it's uh, such a good fragrance, uh, such a likable scent profile that, uh, you know, simplicity in this case is not a bad thing. It's a compliment uh, magnet, this, this fragrance will definitely get you a lot of compliments. For example, my, life, my wife absolutely loves the scent of a liquid broom. Offers a very strong performance, especially after some maceration, very strong projection and all that for a competitive price. Although this has been a little bit pricey at the moment, but that's down to the fact that uh, it's a very hyped up fragrance. But I think, uh, you know, the scent itself is really, really nice. Not my most favorite fragrance. Uh, in fact, I prefer Asia Oud over Liquid Broom, but this is the most pleasing scent that probably everyone will want to wear. And my last suggestion for a superb cold weather scent again comes from the brand of Paris Corner and it's called Camaro Home Intense. And this at the current time is probably my most favorite clone of Dior Home Intense. I absolutely love the original fragrance. And Camaro Home Intense is a very good in in inspiration or interpretation of the original scent. Doesn't feel like a straight up clone, again feels like a bit of a twist. This feels a little bit sweeter, maybe slightly less powdery than the original Dior Homme Intense or the current formulations of Dior Homme Intense. I also pick up a, a hint of a leather note in here which uh, makes it somewhat close to Dior Homme Perfume as well. I've said this before but uh, a lot of people claim that Camaro Homme Intense is actually a clone of the original formulation of Dior Homme Intense. I cannot confirm that because I've never tried the original formulation, but I can definitely tell you that Camaro Home Intense smells quite close to Dior Home Intense and at the same time has a very nice quality and on its own it's a great fragrance. Very good performer, projection is also good and that all that for a very very cheap price. So guys, in today's video I showed you 12 superb affordable cold weather scents. I hope that you found this video interesting to watch, if you did, give it a like. And I also hope that you're going to join me tomorrow for your daily dose of some fragrance content. 
And until then, stay safe and bye-bye.